Now this video is called the JCF are speaking about the Jamaica Constabulary Force and the JDF acting very badly. Now people, we've seen several videos circulating on social media in which the popo and the soldiers are basically bucking up into people after the curfew hours and they are telling them to save themselves. Basically run for them life because if them get catch, they are going to be taken to the big yard. However, in this case, we are speaking about an incident that occurred in a place called Majestic Garden in which a 16-year-old got his foot broken because of a soldier. I am speaking about a little youth that is called Kevron Henkelwood. Now, based on the information, it is said that just after 6 p.m. and people understand that the curfew starts at 6 p.m. We are speaking about on a daily basis. It is said that this boy was going to his grandmother to pick up a plate for basically get some dinner and take back to him grandmother. However, when he went to his grandmother's house and was going back to his house, figure get the food in buck up on some JDF. We are speaking about a patrol team. And based on the information, it is said that after he buck up on the soldier, them surprisingly, he was asked what is he doing out at this time of night. If him not understand, if him not know the rules and regulation as it pertains to the curfew. And he said that the soldier told him to run and half him start run. He heard a big sound. He heard something lick him down and it lick him down upon him side and basically broke up one arm foot. And people, it is said that he was in so much pain. And after the family members were speaking about and the residents in the neighborhood realized what was happening, they came outside and they were basically going back and forth with the soldier to basically release him so that they can take him to the place of recovery. Um, people, it is said that the soldiers them were acting very badly because people understand that they like to cover up and whenever they do anything wrong, I am speaking about the JC, I talk about the Popo and the soldier, they are always going to try to hide it, especially when they see that persons are videotaping. So people, in this case we see say, the boy get lit down and also broke up him foot. And based on reports from a person whose name is Daniel Anderson of Indicom, she said that the boy was taken to the place of recovery. However, he is in pain and he has to do corrective surgery. So people, we are talking about the swords of them, broke up and bent up in foot. We are speaking about in a very bad way, point blank and period. So anyway, she said that she is now in contact with the JDF and the JCF. We are speaking about the authorities and she wants to get in contact with all of the pers. We are speaking about the soldiers that were involved in the incident. So people, they are going to take drastic action. Now, people, like I've said on several occasions, whenever we see these videos on social media, it is very funny until somebody gets hurt and until somebody gets slapped away and people in this case we see that this person got his leg broken and also there was a next infamous case we are speaking about involving a 19 year old where he actually got a heart attack and basically passed away so people the moral of the story is this these popo and these soldiers they have to be professional and even though sometimes they are out there and their job is stressful and even though sometimes them basically need a little laughter they always have to maintain the priority and we are speaking about their job and making sure that person we are speaking about the residents and citizens of jamaica they are safe and secure point blank and period now in the next case we are speaking about an incident that occurred at the university of the west indies we are speaking about in front of the mona flats to be specific it is said that three students were out there in front of a table and a chair basically studying and shooting the breeze however they was buck up on pan some popo from mona and the popo them asked them what are they doing outside if them not understand if them not know say it is curfew time now people remember like i said the first incident was just after 6 pm we are speaking about the curfew starts at 6 p.m. In this incident, it was said to be at about 5 past 6. So people, we are speaking about 5 minutes after the curfew time. So any other reasonable officer, popo or soldier, would have basically overlooked this. However, we see that sometimes the devil finds work for Isla. So in this case, they are at the University of the West Indies. And people, remember, so the University of the West Indies is a place for some highly educated person. 
So my point is that I am not speaking about the type of person that they would basically stereotype as some idler or some ghetto people. May I talk about some well-educated youth. However, based on the information, it is said that they were telling these three persons to basically go inside and they were rushing them inside. However, it is said that one of the students asked him if he does not realize that this is a part of their housing. We are speaking about in front of the Taylor Hall. This is a private place. This is not like the street. This is not a public thoroughfare. However, it was said that the popo became boisterous and based on the information, it is said that the next officer alighted out of the van and started spraying all three students we are speaking about with some pepper spray. So people, we are talking about some set of person. Even if one of their officers or their squad is doing the right thing, it seems like nobody has a voice of reason. Nobody see any sort of wrong. So therefore, they are always going to take up for each other, whether they are D-E-A-D -E wrong point blank and period. Now based on the report it is said that the incident was reported to the St. Andrew Central Popo station and a person called SSP Jacqueline Combs she said that the officer in question he was taken off frontline duty so people we said that he is reprimanded. However it is also said that the three students they also seek the assistance of a lawyer and they are planning to sue we are talking about the Popo department. And based on what their lawyer is saying, I am speaking about a person whose name is Kimani Brightson. He said that the Popo had no right to do whatever they did because they did not have any reason to use any sort of lethal force, point blank and period. So people like I've always said, we understand how these Popo are. They are very egotistical. They are very thin skinned and I am speaking in general. They don't like to be questioned. So even when they are doing wrong, they are always going to take up for each other. They are always going to rebel. We are speaking about using all sort of force point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up now before i move to the next part of my video please subscribe to my next channel it is called jamaica dance all source one word don't put any space between the words and people i will be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video and also subscribe to this channel we are speaking about true jamaica buzz and when you subscribe please to press the notification bell or icon and also press all in the option now the next thing that is popping in the news that we see that a 28 year old we are speaking about JDF soldier he was charged for ASSAULT we are speaking about the SEXUAL type and also abduction and this was said about an incident that occurred we are speaking about in January of 2020 in which we are speaking about a driver a female driver pulled up to a checkpoint we are speaking about at the border of Trelawney and St. James and based on the report, it is said that the soldier asked for her documents. However, he stepped into her car and told her to drive to a secluded area where he basically touched her up. Rete, lele, blue, blah, bling. And based on the report, it is said that after the incident, the lady we are speaking about, the driver, she reported the incident to the Montego Bay Popo. And they also interviewed the soldier and also did an identification parade where he was identified. And it was said that he was taken to court and he was given $500,000 bail. We are talking about cash. The report also indicated that after receiving $500,000 bail, he was booked and he is supposed to appear in the St. James Parish Court we are speaking about on July 8th of 2020. And it is said that he is represented by Queen's Council. We are speaking about Peter Champagne. Now, people, when we listen to something like this, it sounds like something is wrong. Something sounds fishy. It sounds like there is something into something. We are speaking about wherever there is S-M-O-K-E, there is also fire. We have to ask the question. We have to wonder. We have to ponder. If everything was quite okay with her document, we are talking about the fitness. We are talking about the registration. We are speaking about her insurance. Did she do the soldier man a favor? Did she be a scully, went on her knee, and did what she was? 
was not supposed to do because she realized that her documents were not correct. Or did the soldier man just basically get out of character and basically went above and beyond his job? We are speaking about violate the protocols of the JDF and the JCF. We are speaking about the security force because we understand that they are supposed to serve and protect. However, they are not supposed to violate people. However, in this case, we also see that whenever these popo or these soldiers get in any sort of problem, they are always receiving, we are speaking about proper legal representation because people, in this case, we see that he has one of the top lawyers. We are speaking about attorneys in Jamaica. We are talking about Peter Champagne. So people, the moral of the story is this. If you are rich, if you are a politician, or if you are a popo or a soldier, you are always going to get preferential treatment. We are speaking about as it pertains to the justice system. So people, I am not sure if this lady is going to get any sort of justice because it is going to be the soldier man's word versus her word. However, there is also, we are talking about medical, we are speaking about documents that are also involved. As in, we are speaking about tests. As in, we are speaking about SPERM. Is there any sort of insertion or was there any sort of bodily fluid? So my point is this only time will tell. However, I do not expect any sort of justice as it pertains to this lady because we sister the Pope and the soldier. They are always getting up. Uh, they are always hiding behind the badge of C-O-R-R-U-P-T-I-O-N point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up